Okay, so after we collect the sample, then we put it under the microscope or the vet does. She's looking for gross motility. George has plenty of that. Good job, George. Now she's gonna look and see if the sperm is normal so that it's not all goofy. Now, wouldn't goofy sperm, would that lead to a lack of conception or would that lead to de deform babies or both? Uh, lack of conception. Lack of conception, okay. Sperm needs to be straight. It needs to be, doesn't have any extra droplets, any extra pieces. The tail needs to be in good shape. Okay. <laughs> so now you're going to look for that. Okay. This is an, all a very You'll interesting experience. His scrotal circumference was... 37 centimeters, so that's good. He's got motility. He's only two years old. There's no reason to believe George is, is an issue. But given all given all those open cows... He's got a thick neck and a thick sack of balls. I mean, Big Mama's pregnant with his baby. It's got to be him. So, um, but given the, what's going to happen to the price of hay the year, this year with this drought, um, I can't afford to keep even a single cow that's not going to produce something. <laughs> so, she's looking, she's looking... She's looking. I know it's not very thrilling. There's George. There's the fly bags, which are absolutely disgusting. And they smell they horrific. smell horrific, but look how many flies are in each of these one of these bags. They say they catch 40,000. Oh. Wouldn't, I wouldn't believe it. Yeah, they're terrible. But it's better that than the flies everywhere. At least the flies are concentrated on the bags and in the bags rather than on the animals. Well, we just need to put up a whole bunch more. We're fly farmers. That's about all we're going to be able to afford mud, if we don't get some rain. Mud and Mud and flies. <laughs> Who knew it was going to be 75, 80 degrees for months on end in Alaska? And the whole state's dry too. No rain even up in Delta Junction where my hay is normally grown, or could be grown at least. All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here, but that's, that's the process. First you use the machine, then you use the microscope. You look, is there anything else you look for other motility and cell structure? That's look, it. You know, we look overall at the bull, make sure he's got good eyes, good feet and legs, you know, those kind of things. Okay, all right, well, and I think... And on the penis itself, the things. It, I think George is the better of the two bulls. The only reason I have the, the Highland is I want to use him as a heifer bull, but I'm not impressed with his growth rate or his attitude or anything else. So I was hoping to get some calves out of him and be done with him, but we'll see what happens here. All right.